Hi everybody, it's me, it's Cheryl, back from uh, a long break. Um, I've just been a little bit busy and haven't had a chance to um, edit some soap videos that I've done and I don't know if I will be posting them. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Anyways, I decided to join Amy Warden's from Great Cake Soap Works uh, challenge this year and the first week's challenge is um, to do a tiger stripe. So I'm going to try the new recipe that I've kind of created. Um, to triple butter one and we'll see how this goes. I'm just going to quickly turn down the volume to my TV because I realize it's kind of loud. One more. Sorry about that guys. I'm back. I might just do a voiceover or a um, music over. Anyways, so here it goes. I got my oils here and my lye water with some sodium lactate and um, silk. I'm soaping at room temperature. Just want to emulsify that first. Super fats. I'm trying this uh, challenge with a new recipe and a fragrance I haven't used before. But I'm just going to try and emulsify. And I'm going to divide my. I'm going to do Tiger Stripe with three colors. I know Amy did it with three, but she did one layer, I believe, of the white or pink in her pink and. Sorry, one layer of pink in her black and white soap. But I'm just going to do three colors. I know you guys can't probably see. Oh, my batter's moving quickly. Hopefully this works. This is some titanium dioxide that I've done water soluble. I just decided to mix up a whole batch to make life easier. That's a bit quicker.
loosening up for me a little bit. So we'll see how this goes. So divide this into thirds. Hopefully this fragrance doesn't move fast. I'm using mango sage tea. have much play time. Hopefully I wasn't blocking you guys. So you're supposed to draw a line. Oops. Can you guys even now see? I don't really have a good camera angle for you guys anymore. Kind of pretty though. I'm guessing that's because of the sodium lactate and because I use triple butters. Smells good, but my batter is kind of thick. absolutely no time to work with this. <laughs> it's quick, but I think it's because of the sodium lactate. So far, it's the only one that's kind of staying liquid enough. Sorry for all the banging noise, but I'm just trying to get the line to spread out. I 
case I didn't mention, this is Mango Sage Tea. My fragrance, it smells beautiful. Really like it. I think I have a, um, I had a um, wax melt from Victoria's, what's her, Victoria's Candles, I think her company's called. And loved it. So I ordered the fragrance from Nature's Garden. For my soaps. Since used that fragrance, uh, the max melt up, I mean. It's no longer stripes, it's more blobs in a row. Maybe I should turn up my TV now because now it's uh, music that's playing, videos. <laughs> I like this even though it's gotten thick. I kind of like how it's looking so far in the mold. It looks kind of cool. So I'm okay with it being kind of thick. I just uh, only have one spatula up here. It's clean. always do a swirl so I'm kind of glad to try something different because I always do the same kind of thing and this will give my soaps a different look. I'm going to try and join a um, farmer's market this year, two of them actually, that are not far from my house and I'll just do them on the weekends that I'm not working. So I'm thankful that there are ones that don't require, sorry guys, for you to be there every weekend because with my work schedule that's impossible. I work a lot of weekends unfortunately. So I'm going to submit my application shortly. Probably this weekend since I'm actually off this particular weekend. I usually work the first two weekends of the month. It's usually my schedule and off the second two. Alright, so now this color. I think for the top, I'm just going to kind of do something like this. Just on the top layer.
didn't bring up any glitter, but I think what I'll do is I'll add the glitter. I'm trying to get out any air bubbles. But that's it there, guys. This is my tiger swirl. Look out for the cut video tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm back to cut my Tiger Swirl for the Amy Warden Silk Challenge. And I put glitter on the top. And this is the side. I think that looks so cool. And that's the bottom. The other side. So I actually took out the mold last night. Sodium lactate allowed it to um, set up a little bit faster. Oops, my it's kind of dirty here. Just grab a paper towel. Sorry about that, guys. A bit fast with this here. Um, so we might take a lot of it to set up a little bit faster. So it should give me seven bars with a couple of samples. Oh, that came up pretty. So that's the end piece there. Now it did gel, so my titanium dioxide got that crackly look which I absolutely hate but I absolutely love how this looks. Doesn't that look amazing? And I love the colors. I just wish um, I could have avoided that crackly look. But it did gel and I didn't even like I didn't cover it nothing. I should have put it in the fridge. <laughs> This is very pretty. I like it. It's different to what I normally would do. The fragrance is nice. This is um, mango sage tea. It's a very sweet scent. Not very sweet, but it's a sweet scent. It's got a little bit of a perfumey kind of note, sort of. Not really. Got a clean. No note to it. I don't even know if I'm showing you guys. I'm just looking at it at myself. But it's very pretty. Got a lot of orange and white in it. That one. That's the last one. So my new batch sizes are going to be a pound and a half because what I'm going to be doing is using up all the sample size fragrance oils I got from Nature's Garden. And that is enough to do a pound and a half of oils based on 5%. I think that came out so gorgeous. I just wish um, my titanium dioxide didn't do that crackle thing. It doesn't look too bad. It's not too crackly. I uh, just wanted to show you I'm working on some soaps for a wedding and um, the interesting about this top, I don't know if you can see it, is it's Cellini blue but it went very purple and now it looks like it's turning into a purpley blue. Maybe you see that. It went, it's almost the same color as my nail, so it went purple. Um, excuse the nails, by the way. I'm going to be painting that later. But I don't know. Now, it's got ash on it because I didn't cover it. But this is going to be the size I'm doing for the wedding. I just made this out of a cardboard box. Duct tape the sides. 
Um, so yeah, and I'm doing two different scents. So that's a longer one. This is a three pound one. And it should give me 17 bars roughly. But I put some gold and diamond dust glitter on top. Um, I don't think these are ready to cut. So I will show you the cut of these later on because it's still kind of soft. I'm going to leave it out until when I come back home later to cut it. But yeah, this is just the mold I made. And I think it's going to work out perfect. So let me just grab some towels. And I did attempt the mica swirl in this. I mean, not the mica swirl. Uh, mica line. I guess that's what you call it. Now, I was playing for teal and blue, but um, the slim blue turned purple, so I've got more of a teal and purple look going on. And I like the bottom. And it's still kind of soft. I only made it last night, it's still the morning. And it's scented in black raspberry vanilla. This one. And this is going to give me that. I can just tell. It's going to end up with that crackling effect that I don't like. But it's still kind of soft. But I'll leave it out like this. I have some cleaning up with the edges to do. Oops. Can you guys see? Yeah, so there's a, a mica line, hopefully, in between the two layers. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see what this one. It's a little oily. I'm just too excited. I can't wait. I'm just doing these as samples to show her. I know I shouldn't really make this much, but I prepared the molds to make them specifically for her. And I got that idea from Kim from Essential Soaps. Yeah, this is going to have that crackly Dropping the molds. I hate when it does that. It's oily from the oils. So I'll leave that. This one's scented in tangerine. But I don't know, guys. Because it gelled, it's going to have that crackly look in the middle, which I hate. <sighs> I don't want to cut it. It's too soft. So I'll leave this out for the day. We'll see what color this purple ends up going, if it ends up going back. So if you guys want a really nice purple, try Selene Blue. Now I'll let, I'll get back to you if it turns blue again, but it started off blue and then it, I can see as it was setting up in the soap that it was turning more and more purple. So I don't know if it will stay. Now these also have the, hopefully the gold mica line in between the layers. <sighs> I was really hoping not to have that crackling in the white. Anyways, I'm talking too much. I'm going to make my Vaisala shake for the morning. And then I'm on the road 
to get some stuff done. Anyways, I'll be back. This is my tiger stripe swirl. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please check out my websites. I've got Big Cartel and I also have Artfire. So it's www.sweetsensations.artfire.com or www.sweetsensations.bigcartel.com. Um, there's going to be more listed. I'm just trying to see how it goes because the online thing isn't really seeming to doing seeming to be doing too much right now. So I might just stick with the craft fairs and the farmers markets for now um, and discontinue the online because there's no point paying that monthly fee if it's uh, if I'm not making the money back. There's no point just throwing away money. Um, I understand shipping is expensive um, to the U.S. and internationally from Canada, but that's kind of out of my control. So maybe I'll just need to stick locally. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.